गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास आर लक्ष्मण सिंह अगेन विद यू विद रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन लेट एस सी लेट एस टेक वन क्वेश्चन यूज ग्राफ पेपर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन टेकिंग वन सेंटीमीटर इक्वल टू वन यूनिट अलोंग बोथ एक्सेस फर्स्ट पार्ट प्लॉट द पॉइंट ए जीरो कॉमा फाइव B टू कॉमा फाइव सी फाइव कॉमा टू डी फाइव कॉमा माइनस टू ई टू कॉमा माइनस फाइव एंड एफ जीरो कॉमा माइनस फाइव सेकेंड पार्ट रिफ्लेक्ट द पॉइंट्स बी सी डी एंड ई ऑन वाई एक्सेस एंड नेम दैम बी डैश सी डैश डी डैश ई डैश रिस्पेक्टिवली राइट द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ बी डैश सी डैश डी डैश एंड ई डैश नेम द फिगर फॉर्म बाई B C D E E dash D dash C dash B dash. So to solve this question, first of all, so now, first of all, we will draw this x-axis and y-axis. Then. After drawing this axis, we will plot point A, B, C, D, E, and F. A is given zero comma five, x coordinate zero here, zero, and then y five. So y we go on y axis that is five. So this point is A zero comma five. Similarly, B. That is two comma five, so x axis two points like this, y axis five points, y axis five points. So here we get point B. Then C point five comma two, so x axis we will have five points, and y axis we will have two points. So this is our point C. Similarly, we will plot D E. And F. After plotting all these points, we have to reflect B, B, C, D, and E in y-axis. We will reflect B, C, D, E in y-axis and write their coordinates. So you see, B reflected in y-axis. So we are reflecting reflecting in y-axis. Sine of x coordinate will change, so b will be minus two comma five. So this point minus two comma five. Similarly, c given five comma two, it will become minus five comma two. It will be c dash minus five comma two. D five comma minus two, it will be minus five minus two. So it will be d dash. Then similarly, e. Two comma minus five, so it will become minus two minus five. It will be called e dash. So we have written all the coordinates also. Now we have to write the name of this figure. This figure is you can see that it is octagon, and we can see that the all parallel sides are equidistant from origin. You can see that from here this is at five units. This is also five units. This one also five, and this one also five units. So this is a regular octagon. Its name will be regular octagon. Let us take one more question. The point P three comma four is reflected to P dash in x axis, and O dash is the image of O. O means origin. When reflected in the line P P dash, using graph paper, find the coordinates of P dash and O dash, length of the segment P P dash and O O dash, geometrical name of figure P O P dash O dash, and the perimeter of quadrilateral P O P dash. O dash. So again here we have drawn our x-axis and y-axis. You can see. Now 
we have to plot first p that is 3 comma 4 on x axis 3 and on y axis 4 so 3 comma 4 we have plotted then we have to reflect this p in x axis reflecting in x axis it means y coordinate sign will change so it will become 3 comma minus 4 here we have reflected it in x axis we are getting p dash 3 comma minus 4 then O dash is the image of origin. Origin O 0 comma 0. When reflected in PP dash. Where is the line PP dash? This line is PP dash. We have to reflect in this. So this is at 3 unit distance. Again we will move 3 unit distance here. So we are getting X coordinate 6 and y coordinate 0 it means coordinates of o dash are 6 comma 0 and coordinates of p dash we have got 3 comma minus 4 now saying find the length of o, o dash and pp dash so you can see that o, o dash this is 3 unit this much is 3 unit so length of o, o dash is 6 units pp dash this much is 4 units this is also 4 units so we get 8 units pp dash equal to 8 units then we have to find perimeter first of all we have to write its name so geometrical name so we can see that this much is equal to this this part is equal to this part diagonals are bisecting and this angle is 90 degree you can see that angle between both the diagonals is 90 degree so angles are bisecting each other at 90 degree therefore this figure is a rhombus this figure will be rhombus this figure will be a rhombus then we have to find the perimeter of this figure so let us see in this right angle triangle we can apply Pythagoras theorem to find this so all sides will be equal then multiply the side by 4 you will get perimeter so here in this triangle we are applying Pythagoras theorem so let us see OP square is equal to OA square plus AP square OP square 3 square plus 4 square so OP square is 25 therefore OP equal to under root 25 that is 5 units so perimeter equal to 4 into side that is 20 units